Okay, I think we caught the, the back end of that, but I, I'm going to just go ahead and open it up for some questions. Uh, Nick King. Hey, Molly, congratulations on the win. Um, didn't hear everything you said there, but what are you telling your team after this one, excited about this and kind of the opportunity they have tomorrow? Yeah, um, it's funny because I thought back to, I don't know how many days it was, but around the first practice and I told them and it's, it's on video somewhere that this team's going to make history. And I truly believe that we have the opportunity to go out and play a really, really, really good team tomorrow and compete. Um, our destiny is in our own hands. And so we're kind of playing with a chip on our shoulder, being that three seed. Um, but we want to win this thing and, and get the AQ the right way. And I think for us, that motivates us. What was the message to your team down the stretch? I know you guys were up eight at that uh, final media timeout, and and then Utah Valley really made a push at the end. What was your what was your message to your team? Yeah, we just we just had to rely on our defense and lock down. We had to get a stop. They were hitting some big shots. Um, I thought we did a good job of managing the end of the clock. You know, as a coach, when you're up by three, the the thought goes in: should we foul or should you, to put them at the free throw line? or should we ride out our defense? And I'm probably always gonna pick right out your defense because I have that much faith in our defense. So at the end there, those last 15 seconds, we just got out and guarded and they didn't get a good look. And that's a testament to our defense and our kids just locking in and, and buying in. And that won us the game is our defensive intensity and effort. I thought we did a really good job on that end of the floor. Nick, did you have a second question? Yeah. Um... Molly, from what they've shown on TV, I can see that there's um, a decent amount of havocs there. What, what is the atmosphere like and how much is it GCU fans? Well, you know, when they allotted us a certain number of tickets, uh, we asked our Havoc friends if they wanted to come make this a home environment for us. So what an incredible testament to the support at GCU the investment, but also what an amazing environment for women's basketball. You know, in this time of a pandemic when gyms have been empty, um, we're going to take advantage of any tickets they give us. And they've really set up great protocols to keep it safe. So to have them there rowdy, that fuels our girls. It's almost like that six-man energy that we feed off of. So they do get the six-man award right now for sure. You kind of mentioned taking, getting the AQ the, the right way, quote unquote, and uh, what's it going to take to beat an undefeated California Baptist team tomorrow? You know, I think we've got confidence because we were right there. You know, we sent them to overtime. We played them the closest they've been played. We know what to expect now. We know how good they are. They're an offensive machine. So a power offense going against a power defense, it should be fun. It should be a close game. It should be a competitive game. But we've got a lot of belief just knowing what we did at their place. Um, so now we kind of get to play um, at a neutral site, although I don't know how neutral it'll be because uh, we've got a great fan base. I'm sure they're going to bring their fan base. So it's going to feel like we're both kind of playing at home with everyone around us. Um, but it's going to be great. I, this is what college basketball March Madness is made of, right? Two really good teams going at it. A lot on the line right here. Um, and that's going to fuel us. It, we know we've got to win this game to make it to the big dance. And that's been our goal since day one. So uh, one more to go. We can do this. Okay. Any more questions? Okay. Excellent. Thank you for joining us, Molly. Thank you. Katie's Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. All right, we are now joined by freshman Katie Scott. Katie, will you just give us your general thoughts on the game? Um, wow, I just not used to that much adrenaline. You know, it's you can't underestimate the environment that we're in right now. Even with a COVID year, it's still it's still crazy for me. As a freshman, I feel like there's that big leap from high school to college in many ways, and the game day environment is one of those. So there's a lot on the line every single game because it's when to go home, but. I feel like we just played our hearts out. Not every shot was falling, but we just didn't give up. And I think that's a testament to our team and our coaching style because that's what we're made of. You know, that's what we've been practicing since June. And I'm so glad that it paid off today. Early on, you, you got into some foul trouble and you, you sat out the second quarter. Um, you came out and really performed well in the second half. What, what was the message from uh, Molly at, at halftime to you? And what did that take? I mean, every single coach and teammate was just cheering me on, telling me your time's coming, your time's coming, stick with it, shots are gonna fall. 
you know, you, and honestly, it doesn't matter for us who scores when. It's just we need that win. So whenever my team needs me, that's when I need to step up. And, you know, fourth quarter ends up being my time most of the time because our defense does such a great job of wearing them out. And I think that, you know, that's when we really get to show off um, how different we've prepared. You know, that's when our preparation really shows. Okay, uh, let me get open up for some questions. Nick King. Katie, could, we could see a little bit of it on the court afterward on TV, but um, how would you describe the emotional reaction from you guys, especially as you got back into the locker room? Um, it was crazy. I think, like Coach Miller said earlier, we played with a chip on our shoulder. Um, getting the three seed was kind of, a, you know, something to be upset about, something to fight for. Um, we proved that we're not only the two seed, we should be the one seed. You know, that's, that was our mindset going into this tournament. Each game proved that we're the best team, not just not just the three, not just the two. We want to be the absolute best team. And I think that we're showing that we're playing our best basketball in March. Coach Miller's talked about that a lot. You don't want to peak early on in the season. We've progressed every single game. And I think that that's key for us is just keeping our momentum going. And I think that we could feel at the end of this game that we won against a really solid team with not our best performance. So just imagine what we could do if we had played a little bit better. Okay, uh, Nick, do you have another question? I am, I am good, thank you. Okay, all right. Uh, any other questions? Okay, Katie, will you hang on one second? I think we have some, uh, some Arizona media on the other link. So we're gonna try and see if I can get them over here and maybe get you some questions from them. Sorry. Okay, yeah. And uh, if you're Utah Valley Media, if you want to switch over to the, the opposite link, uh, we'll have uh, Dan and, and possibly a player over there. So we should have some Phoenix Media coming in now. So we can get you some more questions, Katie. Thank you for sticking around. No problem. Paul, did you have a question? Yeah. There we Sorry. go. I was sitting over there waiting in the other one, and so yeah. I totally missed Molly. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I think we got flipped up. All right. Uh, Katie, that was uh, – did that just feel like a grind for three quarters until you guys could find your rhythm there? Yeah, I think almost every one of our games against talented teams like that is going to be a four-quarter grind, and it's never easy, but I think that we've just prepared ourselves different. So we're made for fourth quarters. I think that's, you know, where we really shine. and. It was, it was a fun fourth quarter for sure. Did this feel like a toughness check today because it, everything was so hard to come by and the way you guys played in the fourth? Yeah, when buckets aren't coming and, you know, just shots aren't falling, things aren't going our way, we're not getting the calls we like, we have to rely on our defense and we have to rely on our toughness. And those are two things that Coach Miller has preached from day one is, you know, no matter what happens, we can control the controllables and that's how we react and how we play defense. You know, that's the thing that we fall back on and that's what we have built our brand on. And I think that it showed today because we didn't play our best in any sense of the word, especially offensively. But I think that you could see that our defense didn't give up throughout all four quarters. We were the aggressors from the first tip. And I just think that it uh, helped us pull away at the end. Okay, Daryl Trujillo. Katie, just how physical was that game compared to the series you guys played against them in Orem? Yeah, um, it was it was pretty physical. It was a battle. I think Josie Williams is very, very talented. They have a lot of great girls, and um, nothing came easy for sure, especially down low. You know, a lot of our guards joke about being big bodies, and they had to today. You know, they had to go up against some contact. And in March, you're going to get everybody's best, and that means you're going to get everybody's most physical play. And, you know, that's what it's all about. I think that's what makes it so fun. I'm someone who's always loved um, contact. I think it 
you know, I thrive off of it. So for me, this was a fun little, you know, wrestling match a little bit at times, but um, I think our guard showed off their big body too. Hey, Kyle McDonald, did you have a question? Yeah, Katie, what was it about the fourth quarter? It just kind of seemed like it, everything flowed for you. Um, that seems to be a trend season long fourth quarters when I kind of finally adjust to the game. And again, that's something I need to work on for sure. And I'm really, I'm going to try to do my uh, better. Yes. Tomorrow at, you know, getting started early, but I have to give so much credit to our defense. You know, we have so many girls who are grinding for three quarters and then that wears out the other team so much. And whenever you're tired, the last thing you want to do is be physical with someone. So thankfully that helps out my game a lot is the other team's dog tired. And it's just a little bit easier for me. I need to work on, you know, doing that same kind of play throughout the first and third quarters. But, you know, I think that I just have to give so much credit to my teammates and my coaches because they set us up for those really successful fourth quarters. Okay, one last question, uh, Bill McCulloch. Hi, Katie, Bill McCulloch, 602 Sports Talk. Uh, did you feel more pressure over the lack of outside shooting and, and only three three-pointers off and beyond the arc uh, to put more pressure on you down in the paint to score? Yeah, when shots aren't falling outside, uh, you know, Coach Miller preaches get it in. And that's not always a fun thought against a 6'5 girl and a talented one at that. But, you know, I think that that's a weight that me, Kennedy Shorts, Tierra Brown, Carla Balagay, we've put that on our shoulders all season long. We've prided ourselves in. I have to give a lot of credit to our practice players. We have some boys who will, they are rougher on us than I, I think any team could be. And they prepare us for that because, you know, no one's going to be like those guys. So um, I just think that preparation is key for that because we just go in and we're the aggressors and whenever shots aren't falling, we can always rely on post play and even post play opens out those more open outside shots. So I think that that's integral for getting us into a rhythm. Okay, thank you very much, Katie. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you.